Hello and welcome to our first look at a game, Falconeer Chronicles Bulwark. Uh, it's a game I've had my eye on for a little bit. It's a city builder game, and the odd thing with this one is it uses a controller. I'm using a, you know, just a simple Xbox controller right now to play. Um, but yeah, this is my very first time playing it, my very first look at it. Um, let's see what happens. This is the campaign mode. Here you get a taste of the open world building sandbox. It has a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce, and an ever expanding set of encounters, world events, and unlockables. A word of advice, click and build everywhere. There are no mistakes, and slowly figuring out what builds where and how things grow is part of the game. It's about experimenting, so don't be afraid and go wild. This is the kind of what I liked about when I was reading it, is it, it was just all freeform, right? So start with one right here. Okay. Okay, so this is free house. Value prosperity, stability, and growth. They want to rebuild desired only and only peace. Uh, let's see. Factions free house, starting place, New Haven. Starting extractors, one of each. Extractor rate high. Hostile encounters enabled. Raids enabled. Oh, oh okay. Right. Apparently, if you hit B on that menu, it'll. How about this one. Mansur order. Want to reestablish their oppressive monopoly on technology and science. Each other gate or okay. Uh, what about this one? Imperial Remnant want to reform their expansionist empire and oppose the Manco Order. Factor range low. Interesting. Bring location the mall. One. High. Factor range high. Since we're just starting out, let's uh, let's just go with the free houses, I think. Our people were wrecked during the War of the Tree. Dunkel, Castellus, Moorbridge, and even Port Remit. Nothing remained of our prosperous free houses after decades of attrition. We took what we had and left in order to resettle in peace. Right. Away from the warlords and fiefdoms that remain. We will succeed because on our backs the past was built. And from our hands the future will be wrought. Right. What are we going to do here? Okay, let's open up carrying resources. Ah, right. you're finally here. We've already built a few essential buildings. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. Right. While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on. First, hey. connect this outpost to the wood mill, which is located down in the shallow water beside the sea tree fungi. Without wood, we cannot build. Okay. Let's stick to move your cursor. Oh. Apps. I just... Okay. I just... Go directly there it looks like there's no like i can't like go around or anything it's just a direct connection so let's just press s to build a walkway notice how workers are already building houses and industry along the walkway wherever you build and our workers can reach they will settle let's now focus on the wood mill okay now we need to this is your wood mill. Like this, it okay. It produces and transports wood across walkways. Let us build a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. Right, so we do that. You hear... X. Wait, how do we... 
want to build this far or near? You just built a basic tower. It is used to connect up your settlement and transport vital resources. Workers will also build homes and industry around it. Interesting. Okay. Woodville. Collect it. Wood can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the woodmill. But this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the woodmill. Okay, so build more connect towers walkways from the windmill. Inspect the resource flow is our right right button. The output. Okay. The output of the windmill. Okay, so we got plus wood. Almost on workers. We just want to build towers. Is that is that what we want to do? Just keep building towers. I guess we want longer walkways then, right? Because it's it's we want workers to build along the walkways. So if we just go here, let's build another tower. Oh, there's a storm. Good work. The wood mill is now delivering wood further than before, so we can move on. Across from the wood mill, we also built a stone quarry. Let's connect that to our settlement. Okay. Great job. Now we have access to the quarry, our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. Okay. We, we want to select this or just go onto it and hit X, okay? Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. Is this that? Aha! I'm gonna select this building. Okay, here we go. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. Yeah, we gotta move outpost. Here we go. Outposts can be upgraded as well. Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to its second stage. Okay. Next, and upgrade we can this. Add foundations right? to basic towers and outposts. These allow workers to build a higher class of housing on them, increasing the worker output. Right. Oh. Ah, okay, so we can... Right. The worker output of our outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. We just build whatever we want in terms of stuff? Do, 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 do I have a limit? I build another foundation then? Build more. So let's build another walkway or tower over here. All towers allow for foundations, wood, stone, and later command towers. Command towers also allow for battlements. I upgraded this tower. That's experiment foundation, so. It looks like we can do three foundations off of a tower. The foundation there. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. Okay. There we go. Interesting. Okay. We have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore. Just wide, I think, probably here. Yes. 
Your surveyor allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It will also help to get you out of trouble, which is never far on the Ursi. Looking for iron. Can it be on a different island? Or is it on this island? Okay. Wait, use the view button. The oh, world here we map go. shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. If we have iron over here. Freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Play log floater. Pause over there. We're at the like end of the map here, I see. And this way first, I think. This way. That island right there, I think. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. So right there. We now have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. What we do here then we build a harbor right here. This is too close to something else. Yeah, okay, so right there. There we go. Several captains are now available. Oh each I will only oh. carry iron and workers for our industry. I will carry iron. stone and workers. Of my ship only. Ca my ship carries wood. My. I will only we, we carry need iron this and one. workers for our. The iron I transport is helping our settlement grow and prosper. I will carry. The iron I transport is helping. Okay, so we got Harbors this one here. Always need to be built as pairs. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. We can build the harbor out a bit, can't we? We can build like there. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. Okay, so now we're gonna switch to buildings. We go okay so now with iron we can start building defensive structures such as imposing command towers but before doing so we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel hey, hey so we gotta upgrade this I upgrade with x again with all major resources now that... at our disposal let's focus on building command towers these can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. Do I do that exactly? Do I just... Alright, upgrade a basic or stone tower several times until it becomes a command tower. Press X when a tower is selected to upgrade it. Let's start with this tower over here then. And upgrade it. Firestone Tower, so let's upgrade it again. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. Their height can be increased by adding more foundations as well as having better access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible. Right, we gotta build it as high as possible. So we're gonna add a floor. Okay, add a floor. All right, change the floor you are building from. Lower floors build foundations, while higher floors build balconies and sky bridges. Command tower foundations are strong battlements that support your tower. 
foundations allow more floors to be built on the tower. I'm gonna build more foundations then. The four foundations, okay. Do we want to build a balcony? Like, I think I'm starting to understand this. Balconies are built from high floors. The more expansive your tower, the more powerful your commanders will become if they are assigned here. And they must build three balconies. So let's just start the top. Oh. Oh. This command tower is looking stout. We already have an experienced warbird commander among our regiment. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's assign them to this command tower. Old ex tank commander, it looks like. You will find no finer stable, not since the heyday of the War of the Tree. Abler. In service to our people, my retinue of falconeers is eager to settle in and get their warbirds airborne. Do not delay. The one, okay. Rest assured, friend, my warbirds are the strongest oh. and fastest. My stable mixes Sark Hunter and Northern Grey Dive traits. Warbirds, the likes of which have not been seen for decades. Right. This tower and its commander now stand watch over our settlement. Their forces will deploy, joining our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. Okay, so our right. settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command tower. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. These are desperate times, so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Earth. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. I'll upgrade some of these things here. Got these wooden walkways, and I want them all to be stone now. There we go. Population is 316 at the moment. 332. All right, we're doing all right. We're doing good. We have a minus, what is this? What is, what is the fist workers? We have a minus two workers here, that's fine. A stone quarry over there. I wanna start building out in this direction. We have another wood over there I see. So let's, I kinda wanna build out over like here. gonna upgrade that that's where we're probably gonna upgrade this as a hour probably here we're gonna put some foundations on this okay and then we're gonna go back in and we're gonna upgrade the floor Minus two on this, but it's okay. Want to go back down and for now? I want to build up the. Alchemy. Okay. 
bit. Get these in. Or again, and we can put. Balcony here. I think that'll look good. Hey, okay. I don't think I have a commander. Do there I? Are no available commanders on your roster. Commanders and their valuable retinue can be found across the Ursi. Ah, uh, okay. I wonder why this is giving me minus three workers. That's giving me minus two. So still is giving me six. Just getting over to the wood over here. Just getting over to the wood. Pull the tower this way. Get it once. We're actually starting to run low on workers. Maybe now's the point where we wait. Can't quite get far enough over to make a resource thing over there. All right. New forces are ready nearby. Fly up to their command tower for them to join our battle group. Now let's try this then. We have reports of something strange. Or just something strange. Ah, I see. Go over that way and see what it is. My whole A just moves. Okay. This. Where are you? Hold to it's investigate. That a war path in these big times. Well, look no further. Master fabricator of boilers and heated houses at your service. Had some minor mishaps at my previous patron, but I assure you, I can deliver fabulous Mark II heated houses. <sighs> this is what's more valuable. <sighs> this is Mark II. Whatever stories you might have heard, Shoddy, what's more valuable than a Let's try this. I, I accept. Let's go back to the world map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captain. Oh, wait, hang on. Is that ship following me? Pay attention to the political influence of your settlement. If one faction becomes dominant over the others, our neighbors may seek reason to rekindle old grievances. At the upper right there. This what a soul tree. Okay. We don't have another captain to get more iron. There's another iron place here. Hey, hang on. So, I got that person. So I said businesses up here. I'm gonna figure this out. So, what did the businesses do? Uh, I haven't really seen anything new. Just the buildings real quick. Our workers are good again, so let's go, let's go continue expanding.
right, so there we got that. So we need more workers again. First surveyor, can I build a? All right, I need to build a resource here. You have no available resource extractors. Oh, okay. So you have to have resources. Okay. How do I get more of those? A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. Go to that. Come on, my falcons. With me, fly. Okay, so. <laughs> here. These are hard times, and thus. They bring the need for combat forces. Outpost of Savage and Relocate. My group and I have been on the run for so long. We seek refuge and will submit to your service. Take it. All right. So what do I? I need to build a harbor then here, right? I will carry stone and workers only. Nothing else. My ship only. My ship carries wood. My ship. I will carry stone and workers only. Nothing else. My ship only carries wood and wood. Hang on. Over here. Anything? Nothing. Guess we can just. I will carry stone and workers only. Sign. Brings me this? joy to see our settlement thriving. No. I need to make connect over here. Can I make that the harbor end? Or do I have to build a new one? Yeah, it looks like I have to build a new one. Build it uh, over here. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. That give us more workers. It gives us some alignment with the pirates. Good. The question I wonder is how do I how do I do analyst neutral? So I have two commanders active. What do I do get more I have to find these I have to find extractors okay we have to explore more all right we'll look at our map then guess let's go this way I mean I can put them I can put them, wait I can use the map to travel okay just hit A on the map. Let's go, my falcons. Hey, what's that? A resource colony ahead. A resource colony. Can I interact with this at all? You have no available resource extractors. I'm, I don't under you know, any. I can't get anything else. No. Uh, I guess I just have to keep expanding my population, maybe. The part where I'm a little bit confused. Go oh, here. Maybe here there's something. We're exploring islands. Wait, so are those guys flying with me? Are they helping me, the bannerless? That is there anything we can see on the horizon as we travel? Not really. In here? 
Yeah, so these, these are my friends, I think. They travel with me. Okay. What about over here? Do we got anything over here? We might just end up having to build more. Brick there. This. Volcano? What is that? Interesting. Okay. Our settlement's too far. We have to go back to our settlement. I. How would I fast travel? Okay, there we go. X back strip. Okay. Right. Now we're here. Let's. A seven on workers. We're good on workers at the moment, so let's continue expanding, I guess. About the only thing we can do, I think, is expand and get our population higher. Let's expand. Let's get ourselves another tower built. it some foundations next to it I'll get more population so yeah let's just build our population let's see what we can do here they're good on our, our resources here okay I feel like I need to have a command tower over here off of this one maybe. Go ahead and start with a couple of foundations. Upgrade this then. minus two workers but i think overall we're still in the plus we have plus seven there and plus eight there and we only have minus uh minus seven all right so start down here start up one build some more bulwarks on here foundations rather a couple and we'll build balconies So it says to uh, actually could I expand this one now a ship has entered our waters it's marked on the map that's oh, right there let's see what that ship is All right, it's literally right here Investigate. Go. My ship and kin have served Dunkel for generations. Vessel. Dunkel is no more. I was hoping to serve your new settlement and find honor in protecting your trade routes. Okay. Reese's free house limit if placed. You have enrolled an officer. They command a mighty warship to defend your trade routes. All right. So there. I'll just defend the trade routes then. So 
another ship over here. Let's go! All these falcons and we got that other flying zeppelin over there. <laughs> Moving. What is this? You want the fastest runner on the Ursi? Hookers and iron. You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. Huh. Hey. Okay, maybe I have to go now if I go back here. A ship and... has entered our waters. It's marked on the map. How many? Nine now. Nine commander. You have no available commanders okay, no. on your roster. Commanders and their valuable retinue can be found across the Ursi. Captain. It brings me joy to see our settlement thrive. My ship only carries what my ship carries. I serve to protect our people. I can assign them I to this route. And defend here. My ship stands in good protected order. Protected safe route. She's okay. ready to defend this trade route. There we go. I can build from here as well, right? Cannot build here. No access to wood. We would need wood to go from here. Ah, I see. Okay. I see. I understand. Okay. No ship. Over here. There it is. You know the commander is what I need. Hello there. Word has it that workers. Space for me and my crew will make a fine addition to your workforce. You have enrolled a trade ship captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. Right now we're getting a lot of captains. Right now we're getting a lot of captains. I think we're just gonna... I think if I do this, I go to the soul tree. This seems to go higher the, the more population we have. I wonder if I just keep increasing... Our population will get to these branch offs, maybe. Yeah, so yeah, it actually has helped me out there for left there. Population of faction increases. Captain's commander may also be on the sign in this here. Okay. Oh, so these are the captains that are coming in. I see. So that's, yeah, we have to just increase our population. We're going to do that. Start by just building more towers. Upgrade that to fine. I want to tower up on top of here. Ha! Upgrade that. that again I had fully build a found okay so this is my test tower I'm gonna fully build a foundation around this what if I do this Go out even further? Uh, uh, kind, kind of? What if I did that? Ah, I see what part goes out even further. Okay, so now if I upgrade. Add another floor. Now we can go up. Now we can build these. Build higher foundations we 
have built houses and such on top of here. Oh, now I understand. Population is almost a thousand. I should build another floor. Now we can add in balconies. That should only increase the population, I think, right? As I add more balconies in. Build another floor. Oh shoot, just added another floor. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Down a couple floors, let's build out this a bit. Got another floor, let's build this out a bit. That's starting to look pretty... That's actually starting to look pretty nice. Just build this thing. We've got a whole entire, entire castle out here. Let's just... Look at this thing. Starting to build a wall around and everything. that. Now we can go up a floor. Like this. Ooh. Is that business right there? Foundation up here. Oh, what are those? Oh, you can really go crazy with this tower. Look at this thing. Let's build one of these just to see what that looks like. Oh, wow. Crazy. This looks crazy. I think I can even. Oh, I can even go even higher. What does that look like? If I build a foundation right there. Oh. Okay. Um, that is very large. <laughs> do you have any more ships in the area? I do. One right there. Oh no no, I didn't want to do that. My ship only carries wood and I, I kinda wish I could um uh Messed up. Messed up. That was an accident. I wanted to investigate the ship. How do I... Oh, okay, hold. Oh, okay. There we go. We're here. We're here. Well... 
There we go. That's a good I had to hold A and then. You've got folks with good splinters to show. <sighs> Transport you vessel like you would. would being smuggled up. You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. Hey, hey our population just reached a thousand. That get us where we need to be on here? Not quite. Not quite. We got one more trade ship captain or mailer captain to do, and two more. These two. I still need to figure out how do I get. Mechanics unlock new surveyor class that you can choose to be your main surveyor. You can change your surveyor here. Huh? I change it. Right. I gotta figure that out so I can make more resources. Right now I don't have a lot of resources. I get workers here. Let's uh, let it run again. We have over a thousand, but it looks like we're going to need more. We're going to build another tower, right? Let's build a walk. Can I build a walkway? You cannot build on top of the sea tree fungi. These are needed to produce wood. Build a tower here then. Upgrade it. And then we'll build a tower walkway there. Increase your numbers some more. The tower up here. Oh, shoot. I went too far. That's okay. Upgrade it a bit. There, we'll build a walkway to there. Build a, a tower. There. Upgrade that. Walkway into there. Just trying to get my. Trying to see if I can't real quickly get a whole bunch of. I'm trying to get up here. We're almost there, it looks like. A little bit more. I want to see if it unlocks new commanders for us. I, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. Kind of going crazy. Can I build also build a walkway there? Yes. More houses. Each walkway gives us more houses. So the more connection we have, the better. This building then. Build a walkway there. This building, we can build a walkway up to there. Ooh, look at that walkway. Wow. That's... Oof. Do we have anything new on the map? Here. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. Yeah. A ship has entered our world. In transport vessel, free house alignment, work. Oh, he does everything. You have enrolled a trade ship captain. They can be assigned to transport. Horizon settlement. There we go. Let's go to this settlement and see what goes on. These guys provide more workers, maybe. We are but humble refugees. Outpost Many establish and relocate. Imperial houses. Here Please demolish this paltry Place. holding. And we will rebuild wherever you survey a good spot. They want us to rebuild. Or they want to be rebuilt. If I can demolish. Ah, okay, so now I have a construct to use. A 
Okay. For now, what if we put them at this outpost with the iron? Just curious. If I put them over here, what do I get? Let's build the outpost for here, maybe. Excellent. We have an outpost that provides workers. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. This influence is the balance of power for your settlement. They don't have anything right now, but... Okay, let's see here. We build a harbor here. My ship only carries wood and workers. Want uh, the one that does everything. I'll transport anything you wish me to. Things are improving. This route is profitable, and I've been hauling good loads. We we'll go back to the main. Or should I have done it the other way around, maybe? I built a harbor in here. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back uh, okay. and forth. Back and forth. Okay, that's good. That Does that mean that I'll have... Look at the harbor it made. Woo! That mean I'll have resources in the build? I do have resources. That's good. I can build a tower over here. A little walkway over there. A little drawbridge there. That's kind of cool. Getting resources to, to build a tower over here. Build a walkway to there. Huh. Have where we can upgrade this to stone at least. I understand. I have got it. I understand. This is this is a fun little game. This is a fun little like city builder. It's not like a like a city skylines, but it's it, it, or anything like that. But it's uh, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool how it, how it's doing this stuff right now. This makes me want to um This makes me want to take that other settlement and move it now and get it towards a resource. I think that'll be helpful if it's at a resource. That will become valuable later on, I think. We have reached a milestone in our population, aligning with the Imperial Remnant. This will attract new Imperial captains and commanders to our banner. Installing these people will increase our alignment to the Imperial Remnant further. We have like a nice little circular outpost in a way. Okay. And what about our alignment? Do we have... Ah, uh, yes. We'll start getting more commanders. Good. Good, good. And... What is that? A sea captain? We're gonna get more commanders now. I need to get this guy unlocked, so... Ah. I see somebody. Go unlock this person real quick. There. Buildings on the horizon. Hiding vessels. Steam rate increases free house. Okay. You have enrolled an officer. Buildings on the horizon? Oh, and more? Starting to understand. Okay. Alright, this is a uh, cool game. What is this? Is this different? The guild used to have civilians. Explorers. 
public divers and more, all funded to keep trade going and expand both Freehouse and Imperium settlements. But alas, much has been lost. Perhaps you can employ some guild surveyors. What if we go here then? Polish? We look at our inventory and the surveyors. Oh. So let's go back to our main real quick. We want to build this as an outpost. Build it and I connect it. Let's see. I can. There we go. Upgrade this. Can't upgrade this. Oh yeah, we can see there's stone out here now. Okay. Alright. I figured things out. I kinda wanna move these guys out over here. I need to employ a better captain first. Have can't really build too much off this. Let's put the tower out over here. Connect this to anything? Oh. Oh, I could connect it to that, though. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. Alright, but this has been our first look at uh, Falconer Bulwark. Falconer Chronicles Bulwark. Oh, it's now on Steam. Out on Steam now. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you have anything to say, any suggestions if you've been playing this game. Um Yeah. Look at this. A nice little comfy cozy uh city builder so far. Yeah. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Bye bye.